The federal government says 840 people died in bicycle related traffic crashes in 2016. That's the highest number it has on record and something local towns are noticing. As we head into the summer months, what's being done in western New York to make sure everyone's safe when bicyclists and drivers cross paths? Two on your side's Danny Spiewak gets answers. Local governments decide how their roads are designed. And that's a huge factor in safety, Go Bike Buffalo's Justin Booth says. Well, it's not about restricting car access, but it's about creating equity in our transportation system and making sure that uh, however you choose to get around, that you can do so safely. So he's been pleased recently to see three cities implement a complete streets policy, which creates a blueprint for designing safer roadways. That includes Lockport, Niagara Falls, and the town of Tonawanda. In total, more than a dozen communities in western New York have created complete streets plans from Fredonia to Cuba to Jamestown all the way to Buffalo. Complete streets is not only good for safety on our roadways, but it's good for personal health, it's good for improving the environment, it's good for economic vibrancy. And Buffalo is taking it a step further. The city of Buffalo has added dozens of miles of bike lanes over the past couple of years. It's all part of their master plan. The number one goal in the master plan is to get the annual pedestrian death number down to zero. It's a goal that a lot of other cities in the United States share as well. Sometimes the goal is known as Vision Zero. It's a common phrase used in places like Denver, Cleveland, and New York City. One fatality is too many fatalities upon our roadway. And a lot of that comes down to designing our streets in the appropriate way to make sure everyone has safe access through it. Vision Zero also promotes education for safe driving. But it's really important that everyone kind of pays attention to those on the roadway and make sure that we're all sharing the road and doing it in a safe manner. That was our Danny Spiewak reporting.